Welcome back to Let's Play Let's Play Sonic 2006 2012. My name is Kaz. This is a companion piece to Let's Play Sonic 2006 Episode 6 The Other Shadow Moses Island Incident. There should be a link to that video, and you should click on it like before. I think if you've been watching these videos, you're down with the method by now. So I'll just start the countdown. Three. Two, one, play. And I see already that this is one of our longer episodes, so perhaps something of consequence happens. Oh, they did actually stop the recording in order to eat. Oh, thank God. Mm, you could... That was pretty special. I really hope he doesn't come around to later care about the general collection mission. When there's something like that in Assassin's Creed, the little feathers or something. Not much to this place, really. You're playing as the wrong hedgehog. It's a pretty fantastic hat. So wait, they they checked the shop and there was nothing, so Maybe because you shouldn't have to do every single mission. Sure is a loading screen. Uh... really on about states.
I mean, all people are eventually going to become zombies, but we play lots of games about beating them up. No one but me sees that as a contradiction. This mission doesn't make any sense. I mean, even within the context of the game, which itself doesn't make that much sense. No parking. No laughing. So that's not bad on the whole, the mission. Run around, get stuff. Uh, he slept Sonic like like a yo-yo. Oh, there's another two and a half minutes of this. Maybe this is a terrible mission. It would be really neat is if you could see what was happening on the loading screens. Like, it didn't, instead of black, instead of blacking everything out and showing you the, the loading screen or whatever, it would just not. And you would see the game remove pieces and put other pieces back in. That's one way to end the mission early. So it would just, you know, you would see people pop in and out of existence. Wait. Wait, thank goodness. That was actually a shortcut. He died to save time. Oh, that's wonderful. That is the one satisfactory act that any of them has done this entire time. And it only took us six episodes to get to it. And none of them even noticed that that was the case. That's completely precious. Maybe because you just didn't go that way before. Open the cave gate. We need to bring that back. We need to start talking about things being the Iblis trigger again. I think it's lapsed from our consciousness. I think I know who he's talking to, even. That's that's pretty precious. Yep. Ha. Huh. Wait a minute. That probably means that I know what day this happened on, too. Or I could find out. She would do that all the time. She liked to include people in whatever was going on, even if it didn't really make sense to. So, it, uh, if you wanted to go to 
like a store a store that sold exclusively eggs she would call you up about to do that that's almost uh, uncanny really Well, at least it's not the damn desert. Yeesh. The Severnaya Bunker? Looks like it plays like a piece of crap. Well, snow has a great deal of friction to it, you see, so kind of makes sense that Sonic would stop in place like that. This is really painful to watch because I know how good Kung Fu Jesus is at SSX actually. He was he played that game and he could do really well at it, so uh Okay, this looks like a robotic claw operating thing, so we should hear Medibot piping up about how he hates this soon. No, no, that was uh, that was Charlemagne actually. I was mistaken. Oh, they're dead. Right, right, because there's lives in this game. And score. Wow, even back then he made noises. Jeez. Now the mission is stop making stupid noises on the microphone, you idiot. I had but one idea. Okay, so I should probably explain the honey mustard thing. There was uh, this one time that Illuminus, Illuminatus Vespucci was visiting us. This is after we had, like discovered God Hand and played through that. I don't rem well, that that might not be relevant, but uh Luminatus Vespucci, Medivabot, and I were all at a diner and I had my coffee, of course, like right now, for instance, and so did um No, Medibot didn't have coffee. What am I thinking about? No no no. He had a uh Both he and Illuminatus Vespucci wanted a smoothie, and instead of that, we got a, uh, you know, we went to the diner because it was the only place open at that time, and got, what do you call it, a milkshake, which is something that each of them also likes, but I don't like all that well, so I just got the coffee. Might have also had a breakfast of some kind, because, you know, diners, crappy diner food, fried things. I really like french fries myself. It's like my, um, my creature comfort the the crappy food that I secretly enjoy, I guess not so secretly, I'm being rather public about that. Anyway, we're all there in the diner, and just just talking. And for whatever reason, um, uh, the subject came to food. Now they were both very uh, lightheaded, I think, 
I don't know why. I think it was there's an um, there's like an aerosol that the diner uses to spray the whipped cream on the top of. Why can't I remember that word even after I said it a minute ago? Maybe because there's this giant snowball following Sonic. Uh, the milkshake. Okay, so they'll give you a milkshake and then they'll use the aerosol like spray foam thing to put some uh, some whipped cream on it. And I think there's something in that aerosol that, that makes you giggly or lightheaded because both of them were very, very giggly. And for whatever reason, we were talking about food, and one of my pet peeves at that time, and remains a pet peeve of mine to this day, is that anyone who who put m mustard in things around that time, in that age, would think that it's some kind of innovation or or magic to put honey mustard in, in place of that thing, just as a straight substitution, whether or not the recipe could benefit from having that bit of honey sweetness to it. I rather like honey mustard on its own, topped on a salad, dipped in french fries, that kind of thing. Then it, it's alright. Then it makes sense. But when you put honey mustard in something that's supposed to have mustard in it, it made me very, very angry. And so I uh, I became angry, or, or uh, mimicked a kind of supercilious, cartoonish anger at this, and they just sort of, uh, they they really, really liked that, and they laughed at it. And so it became a, um, everything that's supposed to have mustard in it became a kind of little chunk of our consciousness. It's going to be a while before they really understand this. Uh, I'm not going to do the voice right now. I think that uh, in order to do that, I would have to be much, much louder to be faithful to how I was back at that time, but let's just put mustard in everything, let's put honey mustard in everything that's supposed to have mustard in it, and then then my my fury will be maximized. Then the snowball will finally get us. Wow, this was back when he actually enjoyed playing that. That was He can actually laugh and enjoy failure because it's funny. You weren't doing all that well, Medibot. Where did that go? We have to get that back somehow. Not the mustard. I don't care about that. We don't need to get that back. And we certainly don't need to put honey mustard in things. I will find you. That is ostensibly the case. Oh, they're advanced, all right. Is it just the ravages of time? Has he simply become bitter after all this? I mean, if anything is worthy of frustration and fury, it's a game as phenomenally terribly terrible as this. Phenomenally terribly. Blah, blah, blah. It's so tragically awful that even I can't keep coherent while presented with it. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. You know exactly what's going to happen, but you can't look away. Yeah, started with skate or die. Eh, 
Hey, Ilves is doing all right. Mm, okay. Is it? I mean, I, I really can't tell about the music, guys. I'm going to release the soundtrack along with this. He slept Sonic again. You guys are really going to have to learn how to do this eventually. I mean, if even for one jump. I know that the game is terrible at teaching, but... Yes, you did. See, it, it tries to tell you that. Hold the X button and then release it. They still haven't gotten that. And after all that, he finally goes off. He was so whimsical. It was like he didn't, he didn't care so hard about things. He was able to let go. And not in the fake-ass letting go way where he pretends to be some soft-spoken, sweet person who just likes sweet things and, and hugs and that. Like right there, that. That is the, that's the big falsehood. It's one of the heads of the chimera of the problem. The passive voice is being used. Well, it was, and it is. There's a challenge. And we still don't understand how to jump. And now I finally understand why this video is double the length of the last. I was so very close. So very, very close. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. There really is another character. I am doomed. See, instead of that, that too, that is a magical moment. And nowadays, that kind of exchange would get him really angry. I don't understand why. No, no anything, guys. You already read that one.
time-based action segment. This game exists in the space-time continuum. Alright. Alright, back on the snowboard. I'm gonna do this. Still don't understand how to jump. We're not gonna do this. Yeah, Kung Fu Jesus has the right of it there. The the camera is really terrible in um, certain specific places. I mean, it's a little unfair for me to say this, but... They have precisely one button to do. Okay, wait. That was a jump. He did it. He actually freaking did it. That's okay. You, you understand how to use the one button that is relevant. Okay, so I think they've got a handle on this. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Got a good feeling. The, okay, it's alright. My feeling has armor. One naked feeling, come on. Oh, what happened? Well, it's okay, now that you understand how to use the one button that you needed to use to jump. The, the jump button that they told you how to do. It doesn't forgive the game. That's still a, a really terrible way to, to do it, but... Jeez. Please, rented. They totally bought this game. It said the it had the word Sonic on the outside. I swear they've even bought Sonic Blast Man for that purpose. One of them, I think, even pull, purchased Solar Jet Man because he thought it said Sonic. They have a sickness. I really think that a lighter touch is called for. Like turning the brightness up on this? It's kind of dingy. I mean, I do kind of agree to what, uh, what we had, that assessment of Pokey Captains earlier, where, um, where he said the downfall of Sonic games was uh, having to hit al enemies multiple times. That that idea kind of scans in in here. It's like, well, if you're just gonna be allowed to homing attack the same target again and again and again, it doesn't make any sense. It's like you're not under any kind of pressure from, from other sources. There's nothing stopping you from doing that, so they should just let it happen once and uh, be done with it. Instead of just manually forcing the player to do the same thing multiple times for no real reason. Just to pad out the game to make it take longer. Like, what if, for instance, you took the first level of Super Mario Brothers? 
And when you got to the little flagpole at the end of the first level, there was just the same level again, immediately. And instead of going into the castle, you just, like, whoop, there's the, okay, there's the level again. And then when you got to the end of that one, it actually ended. That's really similar to what's happening with these guys that you just homing attack a bunch of times, just in a microcosm. You don't notice it, and it's it's brief enough that you don't notice how bad it, it truly is. Now, I don't think that it's the downfall of Sonic games to have enemies who require multiple hits. That's perfectly fine. It's just to have to have a homing attack and multiple hits and these big enemies everywhere that require it. Uh, it's just awful. It's a reason to skip enemies, I guess. Let's forget about them. Go somewhere else. Except in a lot of places, it's like, oh, you have to defeat these guys in order to go on. They also didn't have any concept for how Tails could affect something like the homing attack, so they gave him that stupid bomb thing. The fake rings. It's a really terrible idea again. You know, those searchlights don't cover very much ground, all told. I think that would actually be an interesting little thought experiment, or kind of uh, game commentary, game design. You just do the ROM hack that was the, the Mario game that I suggested, where just all the levels are two times the level. You can call it Mario times two. That noise did not need to happen. This is exciting? No. Don't say that. It's wrong. Call it out for being wrong. Free roaming, checkpoints in the middle of nowhere. You can ignore that guy, come on. Don't fall prey. Destroying everything. Go around those rings, avoid them at all costs. It's like you used your ham hands and crushed the controller. Whenever we play GameCube games, they have to use their own controllers, Pokecaptain and Medibot do. Because they've they've ruined the the analog sticks. They have just gigantic dead zones. I can't believe this was intentional. That worked somehow.
And sure enough. You leave the stick alone, nice neutral, and you don't go diving around all over the place. <laughs> it took you longer than that, mate. Wouldn't that be a reason to not try and do it in one playthrough Sonic game? Ah well. <laughs>